Hey guys, got a new lab quest sensor uh, for you guys to explore with. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a gas pressure sensor. So if we open this up and take a look at what we've got in here, uh, you'll see a box that is just chock full of goodies. You have the sensor itself, which looks like this. A syringe with a specific ending on it. And a packet uh, various tubes and nozzles and all sorts of assorted goodies uh, that you will use later on in experiments in chemistry. For now though we're going to focus on these two. Uh, the pressure sensor itself and the syringe. So connecting the gas pressure sensor to the lab quest is a mystery. It works just like everything else we've played with. Um, this does go into the top channels, not the digital channel on the side. And as soon as you hook it up, notice that it's starting to measure in KPA, which stands for kilopascals. I'm going to zoom in on it some. We can change this unit if we want to. This is just what it comes standard on. So if you uh, click on that, you have a couple options, pardon me, including changing the units. We are going to be most interested in kilopascals, but we'll also look at atmospheres uh, in millimeters of mercury. Interestingly enough, there is tor on there as well. Millimeters of mercury and tor are exactly equal. Um, so you can use whichever one you want. For now, let's leave it on kilopascals, which stands for 1,000 pascals. So right now it's reading 100,000 pascals, 100 kilopascals. All right, so this is all set up. Now, as far as connecting the syringe and what we can do with this, you'll actually use this for an experiment in a later objective. The way this works is that this syringe will plug into the end of the gas pressure sensor. And before you do that, you usually want to draw the syringe out to a certain point. About uh, 10 uh, milliliters would be fine. To connect this, you insert the end of the syringe in and just twist. And now if we really want to get fancy and measure the pressure that we're applying, uh, with the syringe, what we can do is actually zero this out. So we go to the menu option that says zero, and now it reads zero kilopascals. And as I push on the syringe, you'll notice it measures the force that I'm putting on the sensor. And it will also do this. If I pull out on the syringe, notice we're getting negative values. Um, that means instead of a pushing kind of pressure, now we have a sucking kind of pressure as it pulls it back in. That's about all she wrote for that. Play with it, figure out how to use this. Uh, you'll need it for a lab and a, a future objective. Um, and as always, try and have some fun with science.